Hey guys, it's your girl Queen Kimmy from Kimmy underscore Queen of Crafts, and I'm here with a whiff and chat and to answer the tag questions, guys. I've been tagged. Tag your it. I was tagged by a beautiful young lady by the name of Miss Bessie Berkeley. And I looked at the questions and I think they're gonna be a whole lot of fun to answer. Um I am currently working on Nova by Micah Jelena, and that's what I'm going to be working on throughout this. Let me see if I can show you the thumbnail. Let me zoom out real quick. See if I can pull it over. Here's a thumbnail of, oops. Here's Nova. Is there a way I can bring it up some? Is that blurry to y'all? That looks blurry to me. Let me bring it over some more. Hold on. There we go. Okay, yes, this is Nova by Micah Jelena is what I'm working on. And I am using a Diamond Painting Pen Pal pen. Or, sorry, Diamond Pen Pal pen. This is the flat side. They are the inventor of the roll stop pen. Um, so that when you put it down, if it starts to roll, it's going to land on this side and will stay in place instead of rolling off your table. I am using a shrimp boat from Nix's Notions. And this is a hedgehog cover minder from Craftably. And so... Yeah, let's get started with the question. So I have to apologize um, if it seems like I'm going to be going through this fast or anything. I was in the middle of doing the questions already and an Amber Alert popped up my phone and it stopped my video in the middle of it. And I don't really know how to do editing and things like that to go back and, and pick back up and then just edit it into there. So, yeah. So let's get into it. So the first question is, how many diamond paintings have you completed? I have completed 26. Um, next question, how many diamond paintings do you currently have in your stash? So I'm going to give you the number and then I'm going to give you a disclaimer. Or let me give you the disclaimer before the number. So I have more than just diamond paintings in my stash. I have uh, paint gems in there, which are diamond paintings, but they're much smaller individual ones. Um, I have the Christmas card from the advent calendar listed in there as a diamond painting. The ornaments that they included in the advent calendar, I have that listed in there as a diamond painting. I have, um, hold on really quick, my, my daughter came in here. What's wrong, babe? My phone's at 12%. Can you put it on the charger? Yes, I can. Thank you. Your watch always killed it. And the phone call with Kira. Yeah, when you use FaceTime and you play a game on it, it dies fast. Okay, there you go, ma'am. Thank you. So, yes. Um, I have, what else in there? Oh, journals. I have about five or six journals that you can diamond paint the front of listed in there. Um, I have table toppers coasters so i'm giving this disclaimer because when i give you the number it's going to seem like a lot but i'm basically letting you know that these are not all diamond paintings just straight diamond paintings they're things that can be diamond painted or partially diamond painted so the number i have in my stash is um <laughs> 418 yes you heard me right 418 the reason why i have so many is because I discovered D stash groups, which um, once you get into a D stash group, it is really hard to not buy all the things because you can find some of the diamond paintings that you really want for either uh, cheaper um, or, well, not cheaper, but half price or less than what you paid for it. Um, what I've noticed is a lot of people in the diamond painting groups, they're looking more to get rid of them. So the prices are more reasonable, so they're easier to buy. So once I discovered that, my stash grew exponentially. So yeah, 
And that's how many I have in my stash. When did you begin diamond painting? So I started seriously diamond painting September of last year. That was when I finished my very first, not finished, that was when I started my first um, diamond painting that I had a goal to finish it by a certain time because I did it for Jingle Drills last year. And Festival, not Jingle Drills, Boo Drills and Festival of Witches last year. So I've been diamond painting seriously since September of last year before that. I had bought some diamond paintings earlier in the year, like around April, and I would work on them like maybe once a month or so, but it wasn't really that serious to me. I didn't really get into it the way I'm into it now where I like to diamond paint something at least daily. Um, next question, if you could only purchase from one company for the rest of your life, who would it be and why? So. You guys, I can't choose one company. I have to choose two. Craftably and Diamond Art Club. Craftably has, I love their canvases. I love their artwork. And I love their customer service. The only thing I wish Craftably had, which I know is something they're working on, is a wider range. Um, I was one of the people that it took about a year to get my diamond paintings from them, but it didn't bother me um, because they were very good at communicating with everyone the reasons why it was taking so long for their distributor to get it on the boats and over to us here in the US so they can get it to us. So they communicated that very well, um, the issues they were having with the company and getting it over to us. They also have very good customer service. Um, long story short, I had my husband accidentally, not knowing what he was doing, threw away my drills for two of my canvases and they replaced them. They asked what happened. I told him what happened. Um, you know, I told him it was my fault. My husband threw them away and they went through and replaced it with all the drills they had and any drills they didn't have. They told me where I can get them from for cheap and to me customer service it almost wins every time with the company diamond art club um i like their quality and i love that they have a wide range of different categories um so those are my two companies no it was supposed to be one i'm sorry guys i couldn't just choose one so when diamond painting What's your go-to media to consume, audiobooks, podcasts, or YouTube? So it's actually all of those, but the one that's not listed on there, my first go-to is um, phone a friend. I like to diamond paint with some of my friends. We use Facebook Messenger or sometimes FaceTime, and we diamond paint together and we talk. Um, if I don't have a friend available, then I go to YouTube and I'll look for some whipping chats to diamond paint to. Um, if I can't find a whipping chat that interests me, then the next thing that I do is I go to put on either music or an audiobook. So those are my go to's for medium consumption when it comes to diamond painting. What's my favorite category of? diamond painting landscape fantasy animals so i don't really know what this is i believe it's fantasy i like to diamond paint what people call the big head big eyed girls they're like jasmine beckett griffith and sheena pikes ones like that i believe that's fantasy but that is my go-to i like to do those big faces and big heads the reason why I think I like them is they remind me of precious moments. And when I was younger, I was really into precious moments. Um, I hope there is a company soon, uh, preferably Craftably or Diamond Art Club, that comes out with a precious moment diamond painting. I've only seen them on like Amazon or other budget companies, but I would love for one of those companies to come out with precious moments. But yes, those are my go-to 
It's uh, the big head, big eyed girls. That's either uh, Jasmine Becky Griffith, Sheena Pike, or even my other favorite one is Micah Jelena. I love her work. I love the girls that she does and how they come out. So those are my go-tos. Um, question number eight. What artist do you own the most diamond paintings of? Um, Micah Jelena. Not Micah Jelena. I'm sorry. I have all of Micah Jelena's except for one. The one that I own the most of is um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have about 55 of hers in my stash. Um, I have all of Micah Jelena's the, except for one. And I believe when I counted them or in my gem slot, I believe it's 27 of them. But yeah, I have all the ones that she has through Diamond Art Club, that is. Um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, they're from all over the place. I have Craftably Diamond Art Club, um, Diamond Painting Fanatics, the one with Diamond Art, and a bunch of other places that I found some on. Um, next question. What is your go-to wax when diamond painting? My go-to wax is still the pink wax with Diamond Art Club. That heart-shaped wax works very well for me. Um, when I try other things, I find myself going back to that wax because it works well for me. The other wax that I go to, or not wax, it's a putty. It is Museum Putty from Amazon. It's only like $3.97 and you get a whole pack of it and it lasts you forever. Um, I went to the channel of Mary Making Mud and she gave some instructions on how you can take your putty and make your putty uh, smell good or colorful. And so I did those projects with my daughters. I have two daughters. So one day I did a pack with one daughter and then another day I did a pack with a different daughter and they both enjoyed turning that putty colorful and giving it a scent because I have a bunch of scented oils. So yeah, those are my go-to when I'm diamond painting. Right now, I'm using the museum putty that I colored purple. Okay, so, sorry guys, I have an amber alert coming through on my device. The next question is, what do you do with your finished diamond paintings? So I do multiple things with them. I have some hung on my wall in my room and I have some hanging around my desk at work. I also have given some away. Um, I don't mind giving them away because I have quite a few of them that are done um, in all different sizes. I've only really given away more of the snack size ones. Like if someone, if I'm at work and someone walks by my desk and they say, um, they really like it. I don't mind taking it off of my wall and just handing it to them. And what else? Let's see. I've hung them up. And, oh, and I do have a portfolio. The portfolio that I have is um, I have Art Dot and I also have some off of Amazon. But I have multiple sizes since I have multiple size paintings. But yeah, that's what I do with my finished ones. Um, do you like to open your kits right away or do you keep them sealed until you're ready to work on them? I open them right away. I open it. I look at the canvas. I open the toolkit. I look at the contents. I always open my kits right away and take a look at them. And then I do roll them back up and put them in the box and then put it up for storage. But I do open them right away. Um, what is your number one unicorn kit that you currently do not own but hope to one day? Remember Me by Micah Jelena. I cannot find that one anywhere at all. The last place I saw it, no, last place I saw it, it was released on Diamond Art Club and it is currently archived or I don't know if it's archived or just listed as, I know it's not listed as out of stock. But yes, I cannot find that one. So if it's, and I've put it in every D stash group I can find. 
So if you know somebody that has it or if you have it, please send them my way because I am looking for that one. I have all the other Michael Jelena's released by Diamond Art Club except for that one. Um, question 13. What is the kit in your stash you most look forward to working on? So I actually had to go through my stash and look at it because I have so many of them. But it is, hold on, let me move this light off. This one here, it's Moonbeam. It's a craftably one. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at all the colors. So this is one that I'm looking forward to working on. It is a larger one. Right now I have been working on events. Uh, next year, I don't think I'm going to do any events. I think I am just going to focus on getting through some of my whips or like it said, working on some of the ones that I really want to work on. <laughs> But yeah, that's the one I look forward to working on. Um, do you prefer confetti, color blocking, or a mix of both? I prefer color blocking because of this guy right here. I love to multi-place. I use my multi-placer to single place. So I love color blocking and I love multi-placing. Um, how do you pick which piece you want to work on next? So there's really no strategy or anything that I have. It all depends on my mood, whatever type of mood I'm in. Um, lately, I've been picking them based on diamond painting events that have been out. Um, but next year is going to be a, a year of whips for me. Um, and I'll go over that in a moment because I did see that there is a question about whips on here that I'll go over in a minute. So let's see here. What is your favorite season or holiday to diamond paint from? So I've actually only been through one, well, two seasons, which was Halloween and Christmas. And I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm thinking about it and I actually like both because I like the colors in both. Like um, the one that I did for Festival of Witches and Boudreaux's, I really like doing that one because of the colors. And then I did one for Jingle Drills and I like doing that one because of the colors. They were both nice, vibrant colors. So let's see, let me choose one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'll just go with Christmas um, because I think Christmas has a wider range of colors um, than Halloween does. So, yes, that is my favorite season or holiday to diamond paint. Um, do you work on one kit at a time or do you have multiple whips at once? I have multiple whips at once. Why? Because I believe I have undiagnosed ADHD. And I, um, I get bored very fast. Since I get bored so fast, um, I get tired of working on one kit at a time. So I work on at least two or three kits at once. Just to kind of help with the boredom that I have when I'm doing just one kit and it has to do with the colors I get tired of looking at the same color so often so yeah I have to work on more than one kit and I make sure that whatever I choose is um I make sure whatever kit I choose the colors are different in each kit um so the next one Neutral, dark pieces, or colorful pieces? Colorful pieces. I love bright, bright, bright colors. The brighter the colors, the better. Um, I find that ironic because if I show you the one that I'm working on now, to me, this is a very dark kit. And it's a little tough to work on. Um, but I'm doing it for Micathon, and I love Micah Jelena's work. So I am working on this. And then I have another one that has pinks and purples in it because these are blues and blacks i have another ones that have pinks and purples in it that i work on um alongside this one to kind of help me with my boredom so yeah 
um, large or snack size pieces. Um, I like, sorry, my daughter keeps coming in and out and I have a door that needs WD-40. I like in between. Um, I like middle pieces, um, but if I have to choose between large or snack size, I'll go with the snack size. Um, getting those done as fast as you get them done because of their size um, gives you a nice sense of accomplishment because you get it done so quickly. Sorry guys, I'm looking through this section because I believe I completed all the black in this one. I got to change out my colors. So yes, I personally prefer the snack size to the large pieces. Um... So let's see, what's the next question? Uh, do I place diamonds with a tweezer or a pen? I place them with a pen. I try placing it with a tweezer and people who place it with tweezer are some very talented people. Because I tried doing it myself and it was very challenging for me. Um, it, it was something that was able to be done. But I can't sit there and grip the tweezers the whole time. Um, I know that eventually my hands would probably hurt or cramp or something like that. So I have to use a pen. And then two, I, I think I'm a hard presser. So I don't know if I'd be able to get them done with the tweezers the way that I would a pen because of me pressing so hard. Um, squares or rounds? Both. I don't have a preference. But I do alternate. Like this one I'm working on is a square. So the next one I'm going to work on is a round. Or what I do is I make sure that whatever's in my whips are both square and round. So if I want to work on a canvas that is nice and bright. But also um, that's nice and bright but also has rounds in it. Um, so that with this being square and dark, it's the opposite of what I'm doing and it still gives me motivation to go back and forth. Uh, what's the next question? What is your favorite method of placing AB drills? I don't have one. AB drills are a pain in my dairy air. I love them. I love how beautiful they make the canvas. But everything that I use except for this one pen, it's the pen that comes from Dreamer Designs, is made to play special drills. And let me show you what the tip looks like. And it has a tip that looks like this, only it's plastic. And these are the best for placing AB drills on that pen from Dreamer Designs because we're right here the circle on the inside is very big so when you place it down your wax or putty or whatever can come out of your pen the circle on the dreamer design pens is small so your wax or putty goes inside of it so when you pick it up it's not staying on your drill so i don't have a favorite method i would just say to if you can get that pen and use that pen because it works perfect for placing those a b a b slash special drills without oh i'm sorry to yawn on you guys that one was for you nancy um but yes that's the best way to place them without your putty or wax coming out of your pen is using that pen from dreamer designs so the next question is do you have any other craft hob craft hobbies aside from diamond painting Yes, I do. My other craft hobbies include, I do card making, um, I do coloring. Um, I can do a lot of crafty things like making boxes and gift bags. I know how to actually make those from scratch with cardstock. Um, I like to work on puzzles, like uh, word puzzles that make you think, not crossword puzzles, I cannot do those. I've never been able to complete a crossword puzzle and I probably never will because the questions are just too hard for me. <laughs> Not enough clues, but I do like fill-ins. But I like to do puzzles. I like to do all types of crafty things. Um, but right now, my go-to craft is diamond painting. Um, 
Who do I tag for this video? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know who has not been tagged yet um, that hasn't answered them. So I'd have to think about that one. Let me think about it and I'll see if I can come back to this one. Um, bonus question. If you still have it, show us the first diamond painting you ever completed. This one is put away in one of my portfolios, but I can actually show it to you from my gems flow. The first one that I ever completed was um, Moon Owl Magic. And this was a Diamond Art Club one. Hold on, let me turn off my... Here it goes. Let me zoom in, and then I'll pull it back. Zoom. There you go. This is the first one I completed. I completed it for Jingle Drill... Not Jingle Drills. Boo Drills and Festival of Witches. This is the first one that I did, Moon Owl Magic. And this one was so much fun to do, and she came out so cute. So yes, that is the first one that I did. Um, and that completes the question. Yay. So um, I am done with the question edition of this. So what now? Next thing is um, I did want to talk a little bit about, I know I haven't been uploading as many videos lately. Um, I am in the process of weaning off some of the medications that I'm on for my anxiety and depression. And whenever you're coming off a medication, it can make you feel like crapola. Uh, it can make you feel really down and out. So it's been hard for me to upload videos, but I do plan on getting back on that. So I thank everyone who's been sticking with me, um, and being patient with me when it comes to me uploading my videos. Um, also, what else did I want to discuss? I am close to reaching 500 followers on YouTube. And I'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed to me or mentioned me to a friend. Because I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not on YouTube for the sole purpose of getting followers and things like that. I just really find it therapeutic to be able to talk to the YouTube community and relate with people on things that are um, important to me or that I enjoy doing. So um, thank you to everybody who has almost helped me reach it. And thank you in advance for anyone that does help me reach it. Um, and then the last thing I will talk about is my event. I am having a diamond painting event. It's going to run from September 1st to September 30th. It is a mental health diamond painting event. It's called Your Mental Health Matters. Hashtag you matter. And um, some of the things I discussed about it is I'm not requiring licensed artwork. And I am not requiring... For you to uh, have a specific size like if you can diamond paint a card that will qualify you diamond painting a card so I'm not making this super difficult because I want as many people to participate as possible I want to try to make this as fun of any as an event as possible um, if you have any questions about the event or anything like that I have my email address I'm gonna link down below if you have any questions, comments, or emotional outbursts about this video, please leave it down below in the comments section. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. And I'm here to tell you that you are beautiful. You are lovely. You are wonderful and worthy. And you are enough just as you are. And if no one's told you they love you today, I love you. I'm sending you my heart. And I figured out who I'm going to tag. I am going to tag Bliss Studio Hobbies. I want to tag her and also the Crafty Enabler. I have to verify if the Crafty Enabler has a YouTube channel. But I want to tag those two beautiful ladies. So, yes, those are me answering those questions. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. And... Kisses, kisses. I will see everyone later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.